Yeah, here we are. We're just walking down Avenue A, getting ready to go over to the uh, gallery and see Axel. And who do I run into but another Lower East Side legend, Fridge. Know, freaky Fridge, baby. Well, there he is right here. Speaking of Axel, here he is. Hello, folks. My name is Axel. I'm uh, a blood painter, a jeweler, and I work in all forms of medium. As you can see, one of my favorite mentors, Salvatore Dali here, got me into this blood painting, strangely enough. And one dinner, I had, I love Kahlua, so I had a shot glass that had a sharp, sharp edge on it. And I was fingering it, and all of a sudden, I split my thumb open, and I threw the Kahlua over my shoulder, and then I filled the glass up halfway with my own blood. And out of my little bag of tricks, I gave a brush to my artist friend on my left and Dolly, who's on my right. And we played a game called Exquisite Corpse. After we played the game of Exquisite Corpse, he said to me, you should only paint in your own blood. And so it's a wonderful medium. It's like sepia. You know, if you don't tell people it's blood, they go, oh, very nice sepia drawings. And then I tell them it's blood, and the cool people go, wow, really? You know? And then the, the idiots go, oh, blood, oh. Oh, I don't want to touch that, you know? You go for blood tests. Everyone gets a blood test here and there, you know? For me, I was having problems with my liver, and I needed a lot of testing. And so I'd go to a couple of doctors who were very, very cool. They were young, they knew me, they knew my work, they enjoyed it, they won't even bought a piece from me. I said, look, you know me, I'm not going to be holding up a bank with a vial of blood that says it's like, you know, full of disease and give me all this cash, otherwise I'll break it open and fling it around. You know I'm not going to do that, you know, I want it for my art. So if you could be so kind, please give me four vials with decoagulant. Now, decoagulant stops the blood from turning into a worm in three months. So putting on a plastic glove and using a worm to paint with, I guess, is possible, but it's not my cup of tea. I'm not into the grossity of it. Sometimes I'll add perfume instead of urine, you know, because uh, I don't want to go the gross route. You know, I want this to be looked at as a fine art that just happens to be coming from my physical heart itself. 